part of nature. Because it's all nature. You can't escape not being in nature. Okay, this is everything is nature. It's just that this is the low vibrational part of nature. Buildings and skyscrapers and TVs and cell phones, and we take the earth and manifest it into shit that distracts you from what's really going on. I'm listening, my man. Keep going. And the journey is within yourself. Oh, how you know that? You are the. You was born into this world, and your realm for your journey. You and you by yourself must go. Oh. Because when you go to sleep at night, who do you go to sleep for? Me? When you pass out, when your body passes out, who was there? I mean, there's other entities in all realms, and they'll all be there. But. We must wake up. For me, my gift on this planet is to understand how this is supposed to be. And so that's my gift. And I didn't have to read it in a book. I didn't have to... Uh, it, it, was, it was written in me. It's in, it's in my spirit. It's in my soul. To, to just basically... All I've been trying to do is articulate it. It's the best way I can to help whoever else is struggling with the messages within themselves. So, we belong in the tropics, closer to the equator, the darker your pigment is. Your hair is your answer that let it grow to, to touch the ground. And in this video, I'm going to do questions and answers. I'm going to answer some of your questions and answers. Maybe some of y'all have questions that I, I, I'll answer. And I'm just going to be like, no, I'm going to be one of those people. So I'm going to answer some of your what, what you about to do? Your hair is your answer that let it grow until it, until it touches the ground. Uh-huh. And in this video, I'm going to do questions and answers. I'm going to answer questions and answers. Questions I know. Maybe some of y'all have questions that I, I, I'll answer. And I'm just going to be like, I'm not going to be one of those people that's going to be always making videos. You know, I'm going to be full grown. Nah, you're going to be making videos. I might come back. You're going to be making videos. Do a video for y'all. And I'm going to be journalizing my thoughts, making little things for you and everything. So I'll be here, but it just won't be as frequent. So I urge you to study the stuff that I put out already. And if you let, please listen to me. Listen to me very clear. This guy. It's hard trying to be here and live natural. Trying to be a fruitarian, trying to be a vegan, trying to be whatever you're trying to be, one with nature here. It's very, very difficult. Because this place was never meant to live naturally. You will struggle. You will have big pains. And, and, and all <laughs> you will still be making videos, my nigga. Because you're, you're trying to fit in. You're a circle trying to, you're a square trying to fit in a circle and you out of shape. You gotta leave. You belong in the trap. All human beings, white, black, whoever you are, you belong in the trunk. I wouldn't be in no real island, like the main Republic or Puerto Rico or nothing like that, with those volcanoes with the tectonic plates about to shift and all of that stuff. I wouldn't be there. But it ain't even about survival, because I ain't even worried about dying. I don't care about dying. That ain't even... Dying. The reality checks turned into real nigga moments, that's all. <laughs> wake up and you're like, oh shit, that was a crazy dream that I had. You might have dreams. When you wake up and you be like, oh, that was a dream. That's how life is. When you die, you wake up, you're like, oh, that was a dream. And you walk into your next reality. Like, you don't even remember it. You don't remember that, Mother Earth. <laughs> Shut up. That's how this works. That's my gift. I understand how this works. God, is it good to be back in Georgia? Because I was in Ohio, as you know, and it was just a terrible vibration. And, and, and I'm just loving the sun right now. I'm just soaking it all in. Those of you that are 
your shows and spend time alone, man, because your gift is going to start unlocking within your mind and you don't need all that clutter in your mind. Don't put a, don't put a bunch of junk in your mind. And I, I, it's going to be very hard for you to even continue to be fruitful. But for me, I, I don't eat a lot anyway. Like, I can, I forget the But fruitarian is the only diet. But even the fact that, okay, Mother Earth, if you live in the, in the northern regions, or you in Ohio now, Georgia, or, or Florida, or something like that, then it's... I used to get it in Ohio. <laughs> Certain DNA in the fruit is shut down. Certain genetics in the fruit is shut down. So it is imperative that you get to the tropics. It is very important. Very, 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 very important that you get where you're supposed to be and get in line and take off the shoes, take off the clothes. And get your DNA right. You got to get your DNA right. That's what this is all about. You're looking for yourself in the book. When this is about unlocking what's already in you. And when you eat the wrong diet, and you eat the wrong food, and you dump the wrong thing, and you put the wrong fuel in your car, the transmission starts slipping. Slipping like an old transmission. You start having mechanical issues. Because you ain't putting the right oil in your car. Every car got a certain oil in it. Gasoline and fuel in it. Just talking about the mechanics of the body. Do you know that scientists haven't even, they can't even understand all the materials, all the nutritional facts and fruit. If you knew that the nutritional facts of fruit is, they can't eat. They can't. Because they try to play God. I wouldn't have to use it as God because we are God. But they try to have the intelligence of the higher self. But they can't do it. They can't break down a Thank you, star. And then get the nutritional facts, all the nutritional facts out of the beer. You can't. You can get some. Because you oh, you remember that, Mother Earth? Okay, you've been riding with me. Remember the, remember the, remember I was in the tent and them fucking bugs tore my ass up in that tent. <laughs> them niggas moved in with me. I was in a tent in Ohio and the fucking, the bugs moved in with me. Child, you remember that video? Honey, come hide out. Well, y'all think y'all know me? You don't even know the nutritional facts about fruit. Did you know that? They can't. Wow, Mother Earth, you've been rocking with me. I remember that. Damn. So you done seen it all. Because any fruit Okay, is so you know the bullshit. You know the bullshit I've been going through. That it was you done seen everything. For the human body. Every living element is in fruit. That's all your body needs. Fruit. Everything is in fruit. Everything. The B6 diet, nigga. Because you're about to be 160 pounds. Do you know what you're about to go do to your body? When you take the fruit from Peru, you see it, the fruit, it be like, bro, you about to listen, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. You about to be a fruitarian right now. Damn near breatharian. You're going to eat one fruit a day. I'm about to tell you what you're going to do, my nigga. And you about to turn into 160 pounds from 220 pounds. And you know what you're going to look like? You want me to show you what you gonna look like? Y'all wanna see what you gonna look like? Who wanna see what this nigga gonna look like? You wanna see what he gonna look like? Press one if you wanna see what this nigga gonna look like in about a couple more butts from this video. Be a fruitarian. You wanna see what he gonna look like? Let me know. I, I'll show you right now what this nigga turned out to look like. B6 diet, nigga. <laughs> you wanna see? Let me know. Let me know if y'all want to see what this nigga going to look like. Okay. Okay. Let me show you what this nigga turned out to look like. Yo, who is this? Who is this, y'all? Who is that? Real quick distraction. Who is this? Anybody know who that is? is in this 
fucking thing right here, bro. Literally every book there it is. This is what you about to look like, my nigga. Talking that fruitarian shit. Oh, you about to be fruitarian, huh? Okay. This is what you about to look like, my nigga. Let me show you what you about to look like real quick. And a couple months later, you gonna move to Honduras. Oh, here go the here go the video, here go the tent. I slept in with the bugs and shit. <laughs> Hell no, nah, that tent used to fuck me up, bruh. I used to sleep in this tent, all the bugs was in that jaw. It's the honeycomb hot out, no my honeycomb hot out. <laughs> Months later, I was out there in the motherfucking woods, giving downloads. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Out there giving all these downloads out. This is me. Oh, yeah. There you go. This is where it started out looking. This is me about 190 pounds, maybe 180, 180 pounds, somewhere around there, right? <clears throat> Straight getting activated, like, used to be in the woods in my tent, butt naked, just meditating, just sweating it out, you know what I'm saying? I used to just be, you know, just told dolo by myself just straight getting in tune and embodying all the fucking knowledge myself bro but ass naked in the woods with my little tent just by myself just on some shit just learning all the knowledge being activated i was being activated straight up like real shit eating nothing but fruit straight being activated by my dolo teaching 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 you know what I'm saying? I was getting the knowledge and I was sending it out. I used to be riding my car. Remember this? Somebody screenshot that picture and sent it to me. And this was when I first started. Boom. I'm like, all right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'll take this picture of me real quick. I'm, I put everything... I reduce myself to this bag right here, bro. I say, yo, I'm going out, I'm leaving, bro. I'm not coming back. I reduce my whole life to this one bag, bro. One bag, bro. I had no idea people was gonna follow me, bro. I thought it was gonna be a whole bunch of women. One fucking bag. All my life, I stuffed it in that bag. Everything I need, I gave away my cars, everything. For the spiritual journey. And these niggas popped on a train with me. Key, this nigga, and me. They was on the plane. They bought tickets to ride with me. Look at them. They wanted to be with me. I said, man, I wanted woman to be with me, man. They said, nah, bro, we going with you. They want to go with me. I said, okay, cool. Fuck it, y'all nigga, niggas can come with me. Yeah, I was in Ohio in that photo with the bag. This nigga wound up having $300,000 that I didn't know about. This nigga wound up speaking Spanish fluently. And this nigga wound up giving me Nana, which he took back later. <laughs> this is when we first started out. My brothers, they just started out with us. It's right here. That's it. But after a while, started eating nothing but fruit. Guess what I started looking like? There I was, 160 pounds. Don't I look like somebody, Goku? On 160 fucking pounds in Honduras. Look at me. This is my direct, her name was Lotus. 160 pounds, bro. It's the lightest I've ever been in my life. 160 pounds. Look out, credit. Look like somebody you know. Goku. Look at look how thin I was. Fruit only. I was not healthy.
I was not that. Look at my body, like, nigga, I look crazy. I was 160 pounds. Um, I had about, shit, I was making, I had a couple thousand a month, I was making like, this is residual. Yeah, I was 160 pounds, that's what I would tell this nigga. So this nigga in this video right here, talking about eating fruit, I would tell you, brother, you about to be 160 pounds. Are you taking out of those, those traffic? Bruh, this is what you about to look like, bruh. And this was in August of 2016. The video was made in April of 2016. April, May, June, July. Four months later, I was 160 pounds of fruit. 160 pounds. I was hardly eating one fruit a day. I was literally, literally living off my own cheek. 160. Very small. I went, I've done it. I literally did it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, and this is me. I put a little thing on it, a little uh, filter on it, made it sexy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm back on Facebook reflections. I've been getting blocked on for years, nigga. Here you go. I'm back on Facebook reflections, nature boy. <laughs> you getting blocked for years, nigga. This shit ain't new. Come on, bro. Nah, I was unhealthy, bro. Trust me. Like I was. I had looked at myself and I was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. And then she did this picture right here in 2016, which I thought was funny. Later on, they would they would be drawn. Look at me, bro. Look how small I was. Bro, I was small as shit, bro. I was, I was on some just eating fruit shit. And I was small as shit, bro. Look how small I was, bro. Like, I'm not playing with you, bro. Like, I was literally fading away. I was just like bones. I was like, oh, hell no, bro. I gotta eat something, bro. After a while, that shit stopped making sense. I was like, wait a minute, I'm only eating like one, two fruits a day. <laughs> and then like, I, was, I wasn't hungry, bro. I was just hungry for knowledge, bro. Knowledge alone. That's all I wanted to do. So I took myself to the very essence. I was sleeping over. The, I, some days I didn't even eat. I was just so studying. I was studying knowledge so fucking hard, bro. And remember, this is in... This is in August of 2016, bro. Look how small I was. I was 160 pounds. It's not that I was dying. I was just, I was just fasting. I was fasting for 40 days and 40 days. I just, I fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Well, I activated my genes. You know what I'm saying? I, I've got, I went and did it for real. Like I'm, but way before niggas was thinking about doing it. You know what I'm saying? I was skinny, bro. Straight facts. You cannot change what you will not confront. And I was just on some shit. I was on some... Some knowledge shit. Like I was on some by myself trying to figure this shit out. Like me, I wanted to embody the knowledge. I wanted to not just be the nigga that talked about it. I wanted to embody it. And Goku and them niggas are stuck in this phase in my life. They're stuck, like, they're like characters from this phase in my life. Like, I want to show you something, bro. I'm going to show you something, bro, just so y'all know. I'm going to show you some shit, like, some, some funny shit. Go go Yaya. Drawing cats, like she always do. She loves drawing fucking cats. But I'm going to show you some shit, bro. Look. Watch this. You see? This is me right here. In Honduras in September. And these were my directs back then. And, and this is in 2016 in September. And this is Honduras. And these are my two wives. Lotus and Yaya. They go Yaya and me. Lotus. This is, you know. Um, 
There we go. There we go again. I just wish I knew my whole history. You know what I'm saying? Where are they now? I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. They, they go old Mac. They go some girl from London. They go VP. Right? Remember Phoenix? Key? These are my two directs right here. Those are my wives, Lotus and Lotus and Yaya. Yaya. And this is some girl from London that was with us. Now it's me and me and Yaya, me and Yaya right there. And this is us at the Hot Springs. Everybody was naked. We was all naked with each other in nature in the Hot Springs. Literally, butt ass naked. And you see me, I got my woman right here. This this girl wasn't the. She always was trying to get with me. She stayed close, like you know. You see the woman. And this was in 2016, bro. I've been doing this shit for a minute. You know what I'm saying? That's us. I've been I've been taking people to nature. We went deep into the jungle to go to the hot water spring. It's a real hot water spring in the jungle, in the mountains. And we butt ass naked together out there just just having this hot ass bath in nature. You see us right here. We go Lotus laughing, that's me. This is before any damn yaya, and this is girl, some girl, I forgot her name. She was not there yet at all, no. She, it was years before her. So yeah, that was us. And then we got... Omac came out with me from the beginning. Omac, whoa, whoa, hold on, brother, before I get blocked. Hold on. But here it is. 2016, as you can see, I was polygamous. And that steam coming from the hot springs of the border flowing, the hot spring coming from the steam, and that was me, boom, right there. Been in time with my wives. Why are you calling me a hoe? How am I a hoe if, if, if everybody just, if we agree to do what we did? You know what I'm saying? We're building me. Yaya, Lotus, BP, this girl who just, I just never touched her because I just, I don't know, she just, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, just, some woman I don't know, I just don't touch him. I was skinny with a big head, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... Just looking back, I'm gonna show you one more picture, y'all. Here's some pictures of me. I took them to this jungle. That's when I took this picture. And we in the jungles again. This is all in 2016, which was a very crazy year for me. That was a very activated year for me. Here I am again. No, hell no, I ain't bump BP. You crazy, nigga? Nah, man. Nah, I didn't. No, you ain't never talked to Lotus. Lotus was a rider, though. You don't know how it feels to be in this clear-ass water with that, with that going, and that boulder right there looking like it's about to drop it. All of the water is clear, and you can see the fish in the water, and she was beautiful. That's right. And this was our tent. This is our camp. We used to go camping in the woods, just find places, and set up. It's our solar panels, as you can see right here. This is how we got our power. We lived outside. All the shit the niggas talking about. You no, know, Yada wasn't even out there. Yada, no, it was no Yada back then. No. You see these solar panels? This is why we live. This is our little kitchen area. As a 
little light thing right there, this is how we got power through the solar panel. We lived outside. There was no house. And I always was promoting this girl's art because she had art with um with the woman. So I was always about polygamy. You see what I'm saying? Now that's not a backyard. That was the middle of a jungle. I'm gonna show y'all a picture though. If I could find it. And I want y'all to tell me what you think. Look at Cat Daddy. Look at Cat Daddy back in the day, 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 day. Look at that. Look at Cat Daddy back in the day, day, day. What up, Cat Daddy? What's up, Cat Daddy? Don't do him like that, sunshine. Not with the Donnell Jones hat, you know what I'm saying? With the part in the hair, with the cut in the eyebrow back in the day type shit, with the skinny mustache and all that, like with the with the motherfucking corduroy blazer, you know what I mean? With this cashmere sweater, nigga. No, 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 not with the Tims, with the jeans. Oh, don't kill him like that, Playboy. <laughs> don't kill him like that, Playboy. You know what I'm saying? Smooth dude, you know? Yeah, I was possessed with the knowledge before them, but it really got clear to me after Yaya. Yaya, she basically was the activity. And I took everybody to the jungle, man. You see them, look. Oh, who's this right here? Who this, y'all? Let me zoom in real quick. Hold on. Who this, y'all? This is funny. Ooh. Let's see this. Who this, y'all? Who that? <laughs> I know they found polite like, dude. Who that, y'all? Who that? Yeah. Who that? You see them? Who this? Tell me who that is. Who can tell me who that is? Exactly. Hey, look, 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 look. Who that is? Who are these people? These people are my students. <laughs> All these people are my students. Ain't it funny? I kept the files. <laughs> Who that? Yeah, we kept the files. Oh, you know what? Look at this. Where am I at? Where are they at? Huh? Who that? Who that? Yeah. Oh, you forgot. Oh, oh yeah. That is you. That's you right there. Oh yeah. That's right. Come on, man. Look at old Mac, man. My youngest, bro. He's my youngest, bro. Tell him, John. John, tell him what I was doing to put him. Huh? Where was I at? Where was I at? Where was my students at? Where was I at? Yeah. Huh? Come on, man. I'm just saying because I heard some shit and I was like, oh, okay, it's like that. Really? Really? Nah, no, you, 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 you don't know the story, man. That was a lie you heard. You believed in the lie. You feel me? Look at my bro. Look, look at my bro. What's up, bro? <laughs> look at my son, yo. Look at my son, yo. This is crazy. <laughs> That's my son. He forgot. He forgot we had pictures. Yeah, 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 it was cute. 
black man and woman. You feel me? This was supposed to, this was what Omar painted to me. He never painted before, so I tell him to paint me. And I told him to start painting. I got him all the paint he got. You think he would say, hey man, thanks for inspiring me to paint. And he painted this one, he painted that one. Then he just started painting. And I was like, cool. I was like, paint me. You know what I'm saying? He painted me a uni brow though. And so, there it is. Yeah, he talented because he was already doing like, he was already an artist, but he never painted. He always did like tattoos. And I was like, nah, nigga, you need to paint. And he was like, for real? I'm like, I never did it. I'll try it. I was like, all right. And he started trying. He started, um, he started painting, man. That's a fact. I wouldn't lie to you because a prophet can't lie. You feel me? I wouldn't lie to you, buddy. So yeah, that's that's what it was right there, man. So when y'all get a chance, man, I got a playlist right here, man. On Carbonation TV, go to my playlist and just go, you can go to my old videos, reality check, Q&As. Checks is that one is in there? This one I was talking about my baby mom's moments of clarity. That was another one I used to do. Moments of clarity, right here with the same sweater on. Hey, look, this is in um. Wow, 2000. I guess 2016 was that year. What's the problem with you? What's the problem with you? And we upload a video, right? Just let niggas know what I used to be doing. Alright, uh, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Moments of Clarity with Nature Boy and myself. There it is. Peace to the What's going on with y'all? What's going on with y'all? What's going on? What's up? What's up? What's good with you, man? I had to much. Why did I have this on there? This. And this, that's how I used to shave this off because it just was getting on my fucking nerves. What's up, Destiny? What's up, Norman? And this happened about stop fasting. Why? Um, why, why would you say that? Why would you tell us to stop fasting? What's going on, Kevin? Um, you remember this? Why would you tell us to stop fasting? Well, this is going to be another episode where I'm going to break all of this down for you. You know what I'm saying? But before I get this video started, I wanted to point out because I had my mirror on some things clear to y'all. What's up, Bella? I had my mirror on. Same gold chain. Me, Nature Boy, I started doing videos and expressing myself a long time ago. You know, blogs and vlogs. I do this for my own self. I do this for my own self. I call you my reflection because you are me. It's like talking to myself. Ooh. I want y'all to understand the concept of, of what this is. To me, no, nobody else really exists but me. So I'm talking to myself in these videos. I want y'all to know that. If you relate to anything that I say in these videos that I structure out and organize for myself as a vlog, as me going, these videos help me. I go back and watch the videos and see what I need to, 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 to give my own self advice. I, I watch these videos for me. You see what I'm saying? That's why I call you reflection because Y'all all exist in my mind. I know how this matrix is set up. Like, I know that you are me and I am you. Come on, man. I'm a good old program, For baby. me. Good old program. These videos are for me. And what you're watching, if you're watching, and you have any judgments about me, I'm growing down. Every single day, I'm making changes in my life. You will never see the same nature boy today as you will next year. And, I'm, and if that bothers you, 
And so I thought it'd be best that I explain that as a disclaimer before we get into the video of what we're going to be talking about today. This is my page. This is my vlog. This is my thoughts. I share it. You don't like them. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. The base, anything, get my inbox. Don't come wait till I'm live and then try to. I was setting the records crazy shit. Don't do that. But I love you anyway, because you know what I'm saying? That's just the way I deal with you. I'm going to let you know. That's when I was at ATL, exactly. And a lot of the information you hear me say may to you sometimes sound like it's contradicting what I said last time. I ain't contradicting myself. I'm growing. I'm evolving. Something that we all must do. If you're the same motherfucker you was last year, then I don't need to be fucking with you. Because we all have to become better. The world around you is moving and it's becoming better. It's becoming more smart and more alert. And that brings me right into my subject right now. Right now, I have a friend. What's up, man? Oh, yeah. I have a friend right now that's doing Ramadan. You see what I'm saying? Muslim friend doing Ramadan. So I just asked how Ramadan how Ramadan worked because I was, you know, wondering how Ramadan worked. So I got into this little debate because in my head, Ramadan, they say Ramadan worked like this. Boom. It's funny, it's Ramadan right now. And you don't up during the daytime. Oh, it's not right now. It's in the sun. sun goes down, then you're allowed to have something to eat. It's in, it's in December. They don't eat pork, but they can eat fried chicken. And fried fish and Kool-Aid and all, all, all other kinds of unhealthy shit when the sun goes down. Now, in my head, I just wanted to understand this real quick. So you want to fast during the daytime where you can burn water, the junk that you eat, and then at nighttime, you want to eat it and lay down and go to sleep with fried grease in you and shit. And, and this is okay? At what point? And I'm, I'm going to argue with my people, and I'm like, yo, at what point do we change this shit? What do we say, yo, this is unhealthy? And this is when I came to the thought of fasting. Fuck fasting. I'm not fasting no more. This is a lifestyle. At, at the job you're working, right now, is something that you need to vacation from. Then you're in the wrong job. Then you're doing the wrong thing. You're not doing anything that you enjoy. Then you're doing the wrong thing. And the food you eating, you got to take a break from it. You're eating the wrong food. Fuck fast. Fasting ain't taking nothing but a break and then you're going to eat the junk later. Fuck is the means that you fasting for 30 days, especially during the day. And then at nighttime, eat unhealthy shit. That don't make no sense. This is my opinion. Like I said, this is just my opinion. I said stop fasting and live your life. Do the right thing. Once I realize that this is poison, I don't need to fast from poison. I don't think I need to fast from poison. I don't think I need to take a break or... Also, I already know that eight hours of your life every single day your body has to shut down. It's going fast automatically. When you sleep, your body is fast. It is what you're doing while you're awake and what you put in your body while you're awake that determines the health of your body. What kind of environment is your body in? Is you stressed out? Some people are like, oh, I'm on a, I'm on a, um, I'm on a fruit fast. I'm on a water fast. No, this is a lifestyle. If you're a fruitarian, you're a fruitarian. Ain't no fucking fast. After the fast, then what? You go back to eating bullshit? What fucking, what fucking sense does that make? So after the Ramadan is over, you go back to eating the same bullshit you was eating? What the fuck? That don't make no sense to me. After your fast, what do you do? You go back to eating the same shit you was eating before? Come on, people, let, come on, talk to me. This is my mind, though. This is my thoughts on this shit. I'm like, yo, stop fasting. If you know something is fucked up and it's, and it's unhealthy for you, practice. Don't, there it is, don't practice. Don't fast, practice. Practice breaking those bad habits. Fuck a fast, practice. Practice eating unhealthy shit that's gonna fuck you up anyway. Same pyramid than everything. And if it don't fuck you up, it's gonna fuck you off. 
bring up and your kids be fucked up. You can go down the line and fuck them up. Think about this, family. You want a fucking water fast? The fuck is a water fast? Your body is made of 70% water. Anytime you eat something, it turns to a liquid anyway. So you just drinking water now? Is it is water with minerals in it. What about the minerals that your body needs? So now, what's going on? So now, you're telling me you only want to eat water. But then you want to deprive yourself of all the other essential minerals that you need, which are in the fruit. And then ask me this, because you know I'm nature boy, so I'm going to look into nature for my wisdom and understanding and knowledge and understanding. What species fast? Or take a break from eating this food? Talk that shit, nature boy. In, in nature, take a break from eating. She said, I eat snow. Nothing. You know why? Because their food is perfect for their whole being. It's healthy for their being. They're eating what they're supposed to be eating. So there's no need to fast from healthy food. If you're eating healthy food, why the fuck would you deprive? Why would you make it deprive yourself of what's healthy for you? That's just like you loving me, right? And you're good for me. But then all of a sudden, I take a 30 day break from you. Me and you, we have a good relationship. We laugh, we joke, it's all good between us. You're actually healthy for my being. And then all of a sudden, I take a break from you for 30 days. It's the way we was raised. That's what the shit. I think that's what it is. 
which I think. I think, I think that's what it is. And people are like, oh, nation boy, you don't fast? Nigga, I'm just, I never so I'm not into no fast. Because I already know the body fasts when you go to sleep. That's why when you go to sleep, your heart beat less. It's rejuvenating. It's in restoration mode every fucking night. And I'm, I'm here to teach you how to eat the right way when you're awake. <laughs> Yo, so I just want to have this moment of clarity with y'all about stop fasting. Huh? What's the... What's the psychological sense? <laughs> Somebody said it's Halloween and you dress as yourself. Maybe I'm, maybe something wrong with this. I just think it. Wow. That's crazy. I did this shit without even knowing. I put this shirt on today. I just, maybe it's me, man. It, it could just be me, man. I just want to understand how Ramadan makes sense. How it makes sense. Or is it just a culture because we was all raised in this shit? You know what I'm saying? How does it make sense? How does it make sense, y'all? First of all, eating at night ain't no good. You not nothing eats at night. I mean, just I mean, unless you're a primal animal that got night vision and you go hunting at night. But eating at night is a no-no. We fucking know that's a no-no. So Ramadan says for you to eat when the sun goes down. What the fuck? Even the dandelions close up when the sun goes down. Everything's sleeping at night. When the sun goes down, it's time to fucking go to sleep. And then, put, and then, and then the last part is what you do after the fast. You don't cleanse your body out, right? Maybe you had a fast. Then what you do? You go put junk back in it. So this has to be a lifestyle we're talking about here, right? We have, this has to be a lifestyle we're talking about here, right? Because it ain't making no sense to do no fast and then turn right around and put the same shit in your motherfucking body after. Right. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. That chain came a long way. <laughs> because it don't make no sense to me. It don't make no sense to me. So that's the name of this video right now. Stop fast. Stop fasting and start living your life. Stop taking away. <laughs> you don't fast from cigarettes. You don't fast from crack cocaine. You don't fast from alcohol. You stop that shit. And you just don't do it no more. You don't fast from bad habits, my nigga. Like, what the fuck? When, when did we start fasting from bad habits? Taking a break from bad habits and bad... If you had a bad job, yo, do what you need to do to get the fuck up out of that shit. Don't take a vacation. If you got a job that you gotta take a vacation, then you, you're not doing the right thing. You have a life that you have to take a vacation from. <laughs> And perhaps you need to look at your life. Look at your life. I'm just saying, man. This shit don't make no sense. That's all I'm saying. How y'all feeling today, man? Y'all good? good? Yeah, we good. I had to clear some things up because some people had me all the way fucked up. A word. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like, like, like I'm here to be... Uh, catering to anybody but myself everybody is my reflection i'm gonna be me unapologetically and if you fuck with me you fuck me if you don't then you might fuck with somebody else maybe, I'm fucks with you, my nigga. maybe somebody else say it better for you the way you like it and then what's gonna happen is eventually you gonna see everybody gonna get in your nerve because they ain't saying what you supposed to be saying because you're the person that's supposed to be saying it that's a fact <laughs> i'm not you i am you but i'm I, you are uniquely you no i'm you you have a unique message Yes, your it's message. It's up to you to express that energy. Yeah, but I'm you. Don't be mad at me because I ain't saying it and doing it the way you ain't. Doing but it. you do it. You are. Well, yeah, that's the message of the day, y'all. You know All right. That's what it is. Just that say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. Stuff fast. You know what I'm saying? Stuff fast and then do it right there. I love myself. That don't make no psychological sense to fast. And damn sure it don't make no psychological sense to fast. And then eat when the sun goes down. Nigga, when the sun goes down, you're supposed to be going. Your body's supposed to be going fast. To fast. Shit backwards. That's backwards. It's backwards as fuck.
I be feeling so fucking alone, my nigga, like, sometimes I feel... this bitch alone, my nigga, like, I be having, I don't even know if people really ever understand me, man, like, I'm different, my nigga, like, the way my mind is, I mean, look at where I'm at, my nigga, from where I came from, I was just looking at myself like, what the fuck is, I mean, look at where I'm at, man, I'm different, nigga. I'm really fucking different, my nigga. Coming from where I come from, I'll be real with you, my nigga. Like, I'm different, my nigga. You got to be a different motherfucker to end up where I'm at, my nigga. You got to, like, you got to be on some different shit to end up where I'm at, bro. There's a song, man. Orange Moon by Erica Badu.